What's up guys, today we're going to be reviewing the Terminator 12 inch subs, they're sold by VM Innovations, you can find them on Amazon, eBay, even on the Walmart website. They're all around $200 for the kit, or it's around $160 if you just want the subwoofers. I'll be doing a quick unboxing, uh, uh, installation, and then a review on them. I bought mine off Amazon because they have a good return policy in case if they break or something. They came in two boxes. Thankfully, they shipped on the same day. Some people complain that they come in two separate days. Uh, I got the Planet Audio amplifier and the wires with it. Um, I just heard that it was the best because the Boss amplifier is not very good quality. And even the MTX one, uh, I've heard it overheats. So I just went with the Planet Audio. They're all the same price for around $200. Um, they're all sold by VM Innovations, the same guy on all three websites. So you're pretty much getting the same thing no matter where you buy it from. So this is what all the stuff looks unboxed. I got the uh, subwoofers fresh out of the box. This is the Planet Audio amplifier. And then these are wires here. You already know how they look like. So my original plan was to remove this cover. It just simply pops out. You just gotta get each corner. Then you disconnect the top wire and there's three wires on the bottom. They're just typical prong type. With the radio, the stock stereo, you just remove the four bolts and then you get to the back. But what I realized that is in the back, there is no RCA connection. So you could not hook up the subwoofers using the stock stereo. So I was thinking about getting a line-out converter or something similar, like an adapter, but they were all pretty expensive, $40, $50, I didn't want to spend that. So instead I decided to move to the back with the top uh, trunk lid speakers here in the back. Uh, with those, they already have the wires directly wired to them and I can just use those. So my first plan was to use the rear deck speakers, but as you can see, uh, there are none. And actually that's what I thought originally. That's why I went into the radio and I was planning on splicing the lines and stuff. But what I realized that is when you go to the trunk, and then you look underneath, you can see, I'll turn on the light in a second. Uh, there they are. They're just right there, but you can't see them on the inside, which is quite strange. Anyways, you take the wires that are going to them and you just run them out and these will be the ones that you actually plug in uh, to use. Thankfully, the person before me uh, installed subwoofers too, so the rear deck speaker wires were just hanging here and I was able to plug those in uh, here on this side. This is the input side. Doesn't matter which side's left or right. Uh, for the power, my batteries in the trunk made it real easy. I don't think for most cars, the wires that I got, I don't think they would reach up to the front. They were quite short, but thankfully I have a battery in the back. The ground wire is just on the ground. That's simple enough. So for the remote wire, the fuse wasn't working, and this amplifier was just staying on the whole time. I didn't want that. So I ran the wire through the rear seats under the rear seat here along the carpet I'm gonna actually tuck it underneath this carpet too and then I'm gonna run it along this edge here you can see I already finished running it here and then it comes out right there and then it goes right into the 12 volt socket so when my car starts up then um, it'll also start the amp Okay, my subwoofers are wired up and ready to go. I have the bass control in here and I have my computer to play some music. I'll let you hear how it sounds inside and outside. So I'll first go outside and let you hear how it sounds. Drop dummy, drop dummy, drop dummy, drop dummy.
All right, here's another song. So I would say they sound pretty good. My overall review is pretty positive. They're really good beginner subs, especially for the price. Uh, they bang pretty hard. They're, they don't rattle as hard as maybe 215s would, but they definitely sound good. They have plenty of power. And that's pretty much what I was looking for. So I'm pretty happy with the purchase. It all came out pretty well. Quite Gambino, I'm baby Nino, might pull up with that Nino.